It's a wheel row body, fold down ramp right through here. This is going to detach. So I'm going to do a quick walk around the Isuzu NPR. This is a landscape install and maintenance body. The benefit of this is a very small footprint on the turning radius of the Isuzu. My name is Mike Olden. I'm with Lee Smith. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. This is a landscape install and maintenance truck. It's an install because you have 10 feet between this front intermediate bulkhead all the way to the back where you have the secondary bulkhead. Why is it there? Because this is detachable at the bottom. So you have a 16 foot open lawn tier body when you remove the front and intermediate bulkheads, which allows you to get to the fold down split gate spring torsion ramp. This is a body by Wilrow. Now what comes with the landscape maintenance body at the front? A front lockable box, vertical storage area, six pockets for your rakes and shovels, a cooler rack on the opposite side, plenty of space for you to store your backpack blowers. If you're going to put some additional blower packs, go ahead and suggest that you attach them to the back ramping section. Let's take a look at how we detach the rear dovetail. At the bottom, we have drop down jacks. We have strap, we have connector points here, wrench strap connector foot frame, and you have a disconnection part right in between here at the back so you can disconnect the ramp electric and work off of the primary driving lights as you're going up and down the road. At the back, we also have a drop down pin mechanism to lower to the ground for the footing, and then you put this here so that it has that rest as you come up and down. I'm gonna go through that demonstration in just a second. But for right now, let's take a look at the front. This is the 12,000 pound GVW with the 16 inch tires. This gets you closest to the ground when you're doing your lawn care maintenance for your ease of entry and egress, both for your product coming on for your mowers and for easy entry into the cab. Front axle is a 6,800 pound front axle. Our rear axle is a 200 pound axle load. You'd think that mathematically, that doesn't add up to 12,000 pounds, and it doesn't. The Zuzu gives you some loaded cushion and for added safety on the road. The standard features that you're going to get with your Zuzu is a tilt and telescopic steering column, your brakes, power windows, AM, FM, CD radio with Bluetooth, accessibility with a microphone down below. There are two things that are lifeblood of your engine. One of them is going to be your oil check. The second is going to be your brake check. The Zuzu's brakes reservoir is right here at the front, easy for the driver to check and make sure that he has the right fluid to stop the truck safely. An easy snap back into position and you're good to go. You have a three position back seat, you have a lower back support, in addition to listing forward and back. In between we have big gulp holders, one to go over the fact that you have a gas engine, no DPF filter on this particular truck, which means that you don't have to worry about low speed operation, especially if you're driving between seven and 12,000 miles a year, the gas engine is a great mix. So let's take a look around the front. Why is Isuzu important for your business? You have a massive front windshield that gives you an almost panoramic view of your area around you. You have a line of sight from the driver's seat to your feet of only eight feet. So you're looking for maneuverability, you're looking for safety, you're looking for a way to Make sure that you reduce any kind of exposure you have on the road. When you're in tight spaces, we have the three position memory slots on the Isuzu West Coast mirror, an oversized pane at the top with a directional convex mirror. Again, you're getting almost 270 degrees of visibility when you're in the driver's seat and it's immediate. Our cornering lights illuminate into the direction that you turn. We have LED or standard halogen headlamps and you have high mount roof marker lights, which basically create a, a awareness while you're on the road. The air cleaner on the passenger side, the coolant right underneath the side on the passenger side. This allows you to have fluid access, air access, and it's got a wheat valve at the bottom, so if you're in a high moisture area, you're not gonna see any kind of buildup of moisture going in. So the other fluids that you have is your windshield washer fluid. It's stuck safely inside where it's a warmer environment. You're not going to have any freeze-ups, which means good fluid to your windshield, which is distributed at the wiper. As you look across on the interior, 
three-man seating, two-man bench seat, driver's seat, and passenger seat folds down to where you get to the pocket for the fire extinguisher and reflector kit, whereas the fire extinguisher was stuck behind the driver's seat and the pocket in the midpoint for your information and what you're going to do that day. Up at the top, you do have a coat hanger. That coat hanger means that in that inclement weather, you have a place at least to put that jacket or on a cold day as well. Closing the door, let's take a look at removing that ramp. So we showed you on the other side how to get to it. So to detach this, we pull the main pin, drop this into the down position, insert the pin back into the leg, and now we can crank down to where we get some ground contact with the footing as we crank up. It's raising up. And now we want to make sure we have safety. I'm going to lower the legs on the back and the other side. So at the back, we'll pull the pin, drop it down, reset our pin. So we know where this cutter pin is in here. We've done that one earlier. Let's take a look at releasing this leg down below. We pull the pin, let it rotate. You can tell it's been on different ground before. Well, I'm up underneath here. I'm going to go ahead and detach the power plug. So up underneath, we have the safety chains through the keyholes on the back plate. You want to make sure you release the safety chain on both sides. Now we have the safety chain released on both sides. Come through and take the winch in the release position. There we go. We're going to crank it until the pin releases at the front. You heard that release there? It means that we're now on the legs and we're releasing ourselves from the body as we continue to uncrank, looking for the slackness to form in our winch. All right, release and release. Be careful as you're underneath it. It could swing out to hit you with the safety pin and just kind of work it on out and it will swing free. There we go. So now we have it on the release. Go ahead and start the cranking. And there it is wrestling off the back. This is a pinch point. Make sure that your hands stay free of that. And we're at the point of releasing the carter pin, pulling it down. We're going to put the pin back in position. And at this point in time, we can take a look down this seam. And you can tell that we are fully detached from the ramp. I'm going to pull away. And as I pull away, I'm going to wish you would do. Look forward to your business. Time to go do some install. Let's get going. Get Mike Olden, 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, mholden at lee-smith.com. You're going to make it a great day.